This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. All right, now that we have a shirt, we need at least a simple skirt object for our ferry. So once again, we're going to select the body object and we are going to isolate it. So once it's isolated, we can build a very simple, simple object to represent a skirt. So a skirt is a really simple thing to deal with, at least with our cloth modifier. So what we're going to do, we're just going to start out by making a circle. We're going to uncheck start new shape, and then we're going to build a second circle. So these two circles are going to represent basically the perimeters of the opening at the waist and then the extent of the skirt object. So we're going to go into our modify panel and we're going to go to our spline shapes. And we're going to make this a little bit bigger. So it's got some room to hang. And then with our inner, we're going to make it wider but we're not going to keep it concentric. We're not going to keep this as a perfect circle. So let's grab both of these and move them up onto the body here so we can get a good idea of where and how the waist is actually going to fit onto our character. All right, so the waist is pretty big right now, but her waist is actually very narrow. So we'll grab that and we can scale it down to try to fit as closely as possible. Because with really any of our cloth types, there's going to be some stretch involved. So this is going to end up sagging down the body a ways. But we want this narrow enough that it doesn't come too far down the body and or doesn't just fall completely off. So if this waist opening isn't small enough, the clothing will have a tendency to just fall right off. So we don't want that to happen. So we're going to get this pretty close. And then we're going to actually make our skirt here a little bit bigger. Because what's going to happen is that we want this to actually come down the legs pretty far. But right now, with the position of the skirt, when we apply our garment maker, we're going to see that the mesh actually passes through the arms. And once we're simulating using the body as a collision object, the edges of the skirt here are going to get stuck in the arms. And we really don't want that to happen. So we're going to go to our panels, and then we're going to make sure that this panel is told to be curved. And then as I curve it, we'll go negative. I can curve it out of the way of those arms so that once it starts to simulate, it's not going to get caught up on those. So we can back out of our panel, and then look around. It doesn't intersect anywhere, so that's going to work out pretty nicely. So now we're going to go up to our modifier list, and we're going to apply the cloth modifier. So the cloth modifier, again, is one of those that I'll go to Object Properties. We'll change the circle itself to cloth, change our offset value to 0.2. Well, maybe we should pick a preset first. We'll go to Cotton as our preset, and then change our offset to 0.2. And then we will add the body as our collision object. So body selected, set it as collision, change our offset to 0.2. I'll hit OK. Since we're not pulling seams together, we don't need to worry about simulating damped. We can just hit simulate local, and our cloth object will now start falling down. Gravity's affecting it, it's going to catch on the waist, and then it's going to simulate down and have nice wrinkled shape to it. So you'll see, as it simulates, it's caught, it's not going to stretch out any farther. The center of the dress here will actually swing in between the legs and then come back out and settle down into a nice shape. So once it's done, we'll let it get to a point where it's really not moving a whole lot anymore. And then we'll stop the simulation. Pretty close. It's getting there. A few more seconds. We can look around, check the back, make sure this is looking how we want it to. And that works out pretty nice. So I don't really see it moving a whole lot anymore. So we can turn off Simulate Local. But as I look around here, I can see some of these edges, you know, they're not real smooth. There aren't many modifiers that we can use at this point to actually get a good smooth mesh here. The turbo smooth on this kind of mesh is really not very happy about it. So we'll make sure check intersections and self collisions are turned on. Turn that up one. 
So later on when we go to simulate this onto the moving body, this won't be passing through itself. So again now, to smooth this out, above this we've got a modifier called the HSDS modifier. HSDS allows us to actually grab this element and subdivide it. So when it subdivides, we get a much denser, smoother mesh. All right, we want to be careful how many times we actually subdivide that. So we'll just get back out of there. And then we will exit isolation mode. So now we're on isolation. We can see the shirt and the skirt together. They look pretty nice. All right, so simple cloth objects.